In this problem, we need to determine the length of the tangent drawn from the point having the coordinates a plus b, comma a minus b to the given circle. Let us begin. Now, in order to find out the length of the tangent, uh, let's recap the formula that we will be using. So here we have a point P having the coordinates x1, comma y1, and it is external to the circle with the center C having the coordinates negative g, comma negative f. Then PA is going to be the tangent to the circle at point A. Then the length of this tangent PA is given by the square root of x1 squared plus y1 squared plus 2gx1 plus 2fy1 plus c. We'll be using this formula to find out the length of the tangent. Now in your case, we have the circle's equation given in its standard form. So what we'll do, we'll consider the equation, given equation, and we will convert it to general form. General form means we have to write it in the form x squared plus y squared plus 2 times gx plus 2 times fy plus c equals to 0 because we need the value of the constant g, f, and c in order to find out the length of the tangent. So let's do that. So if we expand x minus a whole squared, we're going to get x squared minus 2ax plus a squared added to y plus b whole squared. So that will be y squared plus 2 times yb plus b squared equals to c squared. Then we get x squared plus y squared minus 2ax plus 2 times by plus a squared plus b squared minus c squared equals to 0. Now when we compare, we're going to get the value of 2g will be equals to negative 2a. The value of 2f, that will be equals to 2 times b. And the value of c, so let's call it c prime, this will be equals to a squared plus b squared minus c squared. Now g comes out to be equals to negative a. F will be equals to B, and then we have C prime, that will be equals to A squared plus B squared minus C squared. Now, now we have obtained the value of G, F, and C. What we need is the power values of X1 and Y1. Now, X1 and Y1 corresponds to the point A plus B comma A minus B. So here we have A plus B comma A minus B. Now, that is the point X1 comma Y1. Now, that means the X1 value will be equals to a plus b and the value of y1 will be equals to a minus b. Now, now let's substitute these value into the equation. Now we get pa, this is going to be the length of the tangent. Now we'll take the square root. Now underneath the square root, we'll start with x1 squared. So we have a plus b whole squared added to a minus b whole squared plus 2 times g. So our g value that's negative a multiplied to x1, so x1 will be a plus b, plus 2 times f, f value is b, so b will get multiplied to y1, so that's a minus b, plus the c value, which is c prime in our case, that will be plus a squared plus b squared minus c squared. Okay, so let's expand each of the terms, so now we're going to get a squared plus 2 times ab plus b squared. This is the expansion of a plus b whole squared. Expanding a minus b whole squared, we're going to get a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Now we have negative 2a multiplied to a plus b, so we get negative 2a squared, negative 2ab, plus 2 times ab minus 2 times b squared, plus a squared plus b squared minus c squared. Now, clearly, a few of the terms will get cancelled out. So we have a squared, a squared and negative 2 squared, so they get cancelled out. Now we have positive 2ab, negative 2ab, so here also we have negative 2ab, positive 2ab cancelling out. b squared, b squared and negative 2b squared cancels out and we are now left with the square root of a squared plus b squared minus c squared. So this is going to be the length of the tangent drawn from the point a plus b comma a minus b to the circle whose equation is given by x minus a whole squared plus y plus b whole squared equals c squared.